Hello and welcome to this Fantasy Football Portal video. I'm Jamie Smith and today I'll be guiding you through a site called DraftKings, which is one of the largest fantasy sports sites out there. I'll take you through the DraftKings lobby and show you how team selection works on the site later, but first I'm going to give you a bit of background on why DraftKings is such a big player in fantasy sports. DraftKings has been growing rapidly and the site was awarded a UK licence at the end of 2015 so it's set to get even bigger in the coming weeks and months. It's fair to say that DraftKings is one of the best designed fantasy sports sites out there. It really is a joy to play fantasy football on DraftKings. As you can see, the site's got a very distinct, unique look with a, a dark skin. It's very, very appealing. DraftKings previously operated on an 8-a-side basis for fantasy football games, but the site switched to an 11-a-side format to bring it in line with most other daily fantasy football providers. DraftKings should therefore feel fairly familiar to anyone who's played daily fantasy football games before. The English Premier League, Major League Soccer and the Champions League are all covered by DraftKings, which also has one of the biggest ranges of other fantasy sports on the market, as you can see up here. If you're interested in playing golf, NFL, NHL, NBA, MLB, NASCAR, MMA or even eSports fantasy games, then this is a great site to sign up to. More football leagues are also likely to be added soon. Prize money is absolutely huge at DraftKings, which has helped it to make which has helped it to become one of the biggest fantasy sites out there. One player recently scooped an incredible five million dollars for winning a fantasy game on DraftKings. That's massive, so there is serious cash up for grabs here. So this is the DraftKings lobby. As you can see, it's got quite a striking dark look. It's unique compared to a lot of other daily fantasy football sites. As you can see here as well, there's a lot of attractive offers to persuade you to play at DraftKings. So it's well worth taking a look at these if you plan to play fantasy sports on this particular site. Here at the top of the screen is where you can change what sports you can play. As I mentioned a bit earlier, the choice of fantasy sports available on DraftKings is massive, but we're going to focus on football, or soccer as it's called on DraftKings, in this walkthrough video. So as you can see, these are the different ones you can look at here, but we're going to look at soccer for this video. On the right hand side of the DraftKings lobby, down here, you can see all the different types of fantasy football games you can enter. Head to head games are a good option if you are learning how to play daily fantasy football from scratch as there are a lot of low entry fee games you can sign up to play. As you can see, there's quite a range in the entry fees available here. For more advanced players, the satellites and qualifiers here are how you get access to the really big cash prizes. DraftKings is famous in the world of fantasy sports for the gigantic cash prizes it offers, so keep an eye on these satellites and qualifiers to see how you can gain entry into the biggest tournaments. As with most fantasy sites, you can set which tournaments appear in the lobby in various ways. Ordering the list by entry fee is a good place to start, as this will show you all of the free roll events you can enter. These are tournaments that you don't have to pay anything to enter at all, but they still offer some cash prizes. Obviously the cash prizes are all quite low compared to the games where you have to pay to enter. You can also choose to order the tournaments by their prize pot. This is useful if you want to win lots of cash on DraftKings, or by the time the contest starts, or by the number of entries so far. To go through the other tournament types available here on DraftKings, 50-50s mean that half of the players who enter will get a cash prize at the end of the tournament. Double ups mean players double their entry fee if they finish among the top entrants. The multipliers work in a similar way to those two options. For example, if you look at this contest here, it costs $2 to enter and you can win $20, 10 times what you paid as an entry fee if you finish in the top 3. That's about all you need to know to be comfortable using the DraftKings lobby. So let's move on to team selection, which is where you submit your entries to your chosen competition. For this video, I'm going to enter a team into this free English Premier League tournament at the top of the screen. So you just click enter on the right hand side and that will take you to the team selection screen. Now DraftKings rules dictate that you have to have three defenders, three midfielders and two forwards. But you also get a pair of flex picks as you can see here 
called utility picks that can be any position you choose. You can therefore, if you wish, have four strikers in your team, although you'll have to balance the budget too. Unlike some other daily fantasy sports sites that give you a transfer budget to spend, DraftKings works on a fixed salary cap of $50,000. You therefore have around $4,500 to spend on each player for your team. Although, of course, it's up to you how much you balance expensive picks like star players with bargain basement options. You can see how much money you have left to spend on your squad here on the left. It's well worth keeping an eye on that as you're picking your players. Arguably the best feature about DraftKings is that the site allows you to edit your team selection right up to kickoff. This is ideal if any team news takes you by surprise. You can also continue to edit players after the contest starts. This is really rare in fantasy sports, but to make the tournaments fair, you can only do this for any players that will be taking part in games that are yet to get started. Now, scoring on DraftKings works via statistics provided by Opta for soccer contests. Much of the scoring system is in line with other daily fantasy football sites. By clicking the scoring tab here, you can get a full breakdown but a couple of the differences to keep in mind with DraftKings scoring is that players receive a point for every cross they put in, even from set pieces, as you can see here. And goalkeepers get an extra five points if they are part of the winning team. You can spend as long as you like looking through the scoring tab there just to get a full breakdown of how scoring works on DraftKings. At the top here, you can see the fixtures that are taking place during this particular DraftKings game. So you can choose to view up players only from one particular match if you wish to. To see players from one particular team only, just click that club's name to select or deselect them like this. There is a couple of ways to order the player list. You can order players by their salary or their fantasy points per game score. This one is particularly useful if you want to see which players have been performing well over the course of the season so far. Ordering by salary will probably be more useful when you get towards the end of your team and you're running out of money. There's also a search box here if there's a particular player you want to find to add to your team. You can also click each player to look at them in more detail and see how they've been performing on DraftKings. For example, if we click Sergio Aguero here, you can see how he performed in his last game, where he was extremely good, how he's played over the season so far. There's also some news about how he's been playing recently. Any injury updates would also go in there. You can see how many appearances he's made this season, how many goals he's scored, how many assists. And overall there is his fantasy points per game score. That's one of the key figures to be keeping an eye out. You will also see a little red circle next to some players. This means that they're currently injured or suspended. This means that they're also likely to miss the fixture in question for the contest you've chosen to enter. Obviously, it's up to you if you still want to pick them, but it's not likely to do your chances of winning any good at all. Adding players is simple. Just click this green plus sign next to their name in the playlist. And then they'll appear in your team. If you change your mind later and want to get rid of them, the yellow cross puts them back to the playlist. Another great feature here on DraftKings is you have the chance to reserve a place in a tournament and sort your team out later. This is particularly useful for contests that have a limit on the number of entrants who can join. Just make sure you come back and pick your team later. To do that, just click the reserve feet, the reserve button, read the information, click the button and then click reserve entry. Really simple. I'm going to start adding players now. I'm not going to spend too long on this because the matches are almost a week away from from when I'm recording this video so I'm going to be able to come back before the game start and make any changes I want. I could even wait until the lineups are confirmed by the teams involved in these fixtures before making my final decisions. So I've got Sergio Aguero in there. He's very expensive so I'm going to have to have some cheaper options to balance out the money that I've just spent there. So Fraser Foster is going to be my goalkeeper. I'm going to have Matt Target and Charlie Daniels. Let's have a look at the midfielders. I'm going to go for 
Robbie Blade, Robbie Brady, sorry, and David Silva, and also my last pick for now is going to be Jesse Lingard, the strikers now. Already running out of money, so I'm going to have to be a bit careful about who I go there. I'm going to go Charlie Austin, scored on his debut, of course. So now I've got one defender left to pick, and then a couple of utility players who can be any position at all. Like I mentioned earlier, that's one of the best features about DraftKings. You've got real flexibility over what you can do with your team. I'm looking for a cheap option here to save some of my budget, because I'm running out of cash a little bit. So I'm going to go with Martin Kelly. So I've just got two spots to use, as you can see there. That's my remaining salary, and it tells me how much I can afford to spend on each player as well, which is very useful. So the final couple of players I want to put in, just to finish this off quickly, I'm going to have Nathan Redmond. That leaves me 6,000 to spend. And the, the salaries will go red when you get towards the end of your team. This means that you can't afford the player unless you make some changes to your squad. My last pick is going to be Deli Alley. So I've spent all my money. I've got nothing left. And then to enter your team, all you have to do is click the little submit button here at the bottom. And then you'll be entered. You can always go back, like I've mentioned, and make any changes before the first game starts. That will appear in my contests at the top once you've entered. You should now be ready to sign up and play daily fantasy sports games here at DraftKings. If you still want more information about DraftKings, search right here on Fantasy Football Portal for a written review and guide to how to use the site. Thanks for watching this Fantasy Football Portal lobby walkthrough and team selection guide for DraftKings. And good luck!